Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the Technology Innovation Hub. So it's going to be the tenth session uh, on achieving greater career heights. Uh, we have done uh, nine sessions at the moment, so let me share the screen. So in the last session, we completed uh, the learning styles. Right, uh, we discussed the uh, three learning styles. The last one was the WAC model, the WAC or the WAC model. Having that understanding. So up next is going to be competency building. Competency building, right? So once you identify what kind of a learner you are, as for the last uh, learning style, you may be a visual learner, you may be kinesthetic preference, you may be a reader, better reader, or you may be good at all four. So then it's time to heed the knowledge, heed the knowledge, for an identified skill, for identified skill and build the competency. So that is how it's going to be. For example, if you are a good singer, right? So then you need to feed the knowledge on improving that skill and build the competencies. If you are a good, if you have good ability for logical and mathematical, all right, so then you have to continue that track and feed the knowledge because that is still is they are built in for you so using the no, uh, learning style so feed the knowledge get the knowledge and feed the knowledge to the skill and make it sharpen and build the competency so it's going to be like that right and so competency the definition is there you can see a set of individual performance behaviors which are observable measurable and critical to successful individual and company performance. So actually, yeah, it's, it's understood because as an individual, you should have to build the competencies, then uh, you have to add the value for the organization's core value chain. So that is how it's going to be. So it's effects for you as well as for the organization. Then second point, the individual characteristics of a person which result in an effective and superior performance in a job, right? Competency, yeah, understood because if you have uh, mastered on certain skills, that means you have built your competencies at the mastery skill so that you can do a professional job there. You can guarantee a completion of a task without any doubt. You can say, I can complete in this way on this time and it's guaranteed like that. So that is because you have mastered your competencies. Right? So if you go to this link where the definition came from, it's from uh, management study guide. So just go to this one and uh, this is the definition that I have taken. So it's explained the same thing in a little bit detail which I have explained up to now, right? So these uh, details are there, right? So just uh, go through it uh, likewise. Management study guide and so we have this explanation. So how do you build the competencies? So it's like a ladder. Right? So mainly we had to talk about four levels of competencies, four levels of competencies. Right? So the very first thing starts from unconscious incompetence, unconscious incompetence. It's like this, that, that means you don't know that you don't know something. <laughs> very simple. You don't know that you don't know something. For example, a very famous example is riding a bicycle, right? Riding a bicycle. Till you get in and to the bicycle and fall off, till you uh, fall down, right? Because you cannot handle the balance and all, you may be thinking that you can ride the bicycle because others are riding, right? People who have uh, built the competency of riding a bicycle, they just get in and go, no. So by looking at that as an individual or as an intellectual, you may also think, yeah, you also can do it. Then you get in and you fall. <laughs> so till you fall, you don't know that you don't have that competency. That is unconscious. You don't know that you don't know. That's the first, very first level of competency. Right? So once you get to know that you don't know of that particular, how to do that particular activity or particular task, then you become aware that you can't do that or that you don't know it. Right? Other than you can't do it, initially you may can't do it, but you get to know that you don't know how to do that. That is, you are becoming conscious in computer. Now you know you can't, that's why, because you fall off the bicycle, you fall down. Now you know you can't ride the bicycle. 
That means you get the awareness that you can't do it without some practice. That's the second level of competency. So that is known as conscious incompetence. Still, you are not competent, so you are incompetent, but you now know, you're conscious about it, you know that you are not uh, competent. So that is conscious, you know that you can't do it, you are becoming aware of that you can't do it, so that becomes conscious incompetence. Earlier, you don't know, that is, you're unconscious. Okay, now you got to know, you can't, you don't know, you don't have the particular practice to do that task. So the third thing in the ladder, what is the third step? Now you start mastering that skill. You start feeding the knowledge. So, you, so somehow uh, with the assistance of a coach or a, whoever, uh, maybe another master who, who is who, who has well practiced about riding a bicycle, you take in the assistant from his, right? And you are getting the guidance, uh, maybe a trainer, right? Trainer, coaching is a different thing, training is a different thing. So at this moment, uh, you are getting the assistant of a trainer. So trainer, you will come and uh, tell, okay, this is how you should take the balance. This is how you should start riding a bicycle and like that. So now what you are doing? You are learning it, right? That means you are building your uh, competency. You're building your competency. So then you become what? Now you know you can't do the task. Since you are getting training, you become competent on that. So you are developing your skill. Right? So this is the third level. So in the meantime, so this is the mid-level is what you are feeding your knowledge. Knowledge is you are learning from the trainer. You are getting the knowledge. This is how you should do it. And this is the starting. And this is how you should go. This is the balance and like that. And you keep on practicing. So what you are doing, you have the skill of riding a bicycle and you are building that competency of riding a bicycle by feeding the knowledge and you're putting into practice. So that means what? Conscious competence. Still you are thinking of it, right? Thinking of it means as soon as you get into the bicycle, it don't go at the moment, right? So, I mean, if you don't think and ride a bicycle, you might fall still because still you have you don't have the mastery skill, but you, you can do it now, you can. You can think, okay, I should get into the bicycle like this and the balance should be there, the paddling has to happen like this, like this. Okay, uh, you can do it, still you are thinking and doing it. Then comes the fourth level. What is the fourth level in the ladder? That is unconscious competence. That means you don't have to think about it anymore. That is, okay, I'm getting into bicycle and now I have to take the balance and the handle has to be this way, paddle has to be this way. No, you just get into the bicycle and go in that way. Why you talk into a pen, say tata bai and you go. <laughs> That's all. So that is, uh, you don't know that you are actually engaging in the task because you are so much, you have, you have become veteran, right? You are so much into practices, now you are mastering it. You, you definitely know you can drive it, right? Even if in, uh, even if, uh, I mean, a motor bicycle, so you just switch on and you go on. Even driving a car, you get in and just switch on and uh, push the button and start and go. That's it. I mean, uh, so that is what? Unless uh, somebody <laughs> trying to get hit, it, I mean, get into the road, you need to uh, put the brake on the car, it will be stopped. But till then, till that time, uh, you can just go on, right? Keep on going. You don't have to worry about how you, how the steering and handling and you automatically those things happen. That means you have mastered that one in case of driving a car. So this is applicable for any skill, right? Any skill means building any competency. So this is uh, known as a competency building ladder. So it has four stages. First thing that you don't know that you don't know, you are not aware that even you don't know. Then you become aware that you don't know. Then since you don't know, you start learning and feeding the skill and building the competency. After that, once you learn and you master it this time, you become in a professional. So you don't need to think about what you are doing even, you just keep on going, right? That is those are the four level of competency ability, right? So and you can try this out. And again, uh, this can be presented in this way as well, like uh, four dimensions, you can see level one, unconscious, unconsciously unskilled, right? So it's the same thing, unconsciously un unskilled, that's then level two goes, consciously unskilled, level three, consciously skilled, level four, unconsciously skilled. So if, you, if I click here, this reference, See, this is for mind tools, why not mistake, and it's for mind tools. So in mind tools, they explain the conscious competence ladder, developing awareness of your skill level. So you can see uh, it is uh, explained in detail, right? 
for the conscious competence ladder so you can see the pole level space and they are telling how it can be done so this is the same diagram right mm, so just go to it is the same explanation that i just uh, did for you for you all right so you can just go to it and see so and this is a very good method to build your competencies and build uh, i mean and becoming a professional on a task delivery so who is a professional professional means what professional means you you can guarantee a completion of a task and you know it should be done it in this way so that is there's a right way of completing a task and there's a time frame so within this time eta you are doing it right way and you guarantee completion there's no yes or no situation it is yes and it can be done 100% correctly so like doctor doctor is a professional and uh, i mean uh, say so, see so if it is a uh, a baby delivery specialist so then a vog kind of a thing then, then he knows exactly how to get the child out safely so delivery see that is he is a professional he has mastered it otherwise that can be problem right that is the delivery cannot be guaranteed so there can be issue right so, I mean, so that's why right. so it is guaranteed so that is professionalism so professionalism normally uh, we can uh, take into three uh, three uh, major three points like that guarantee a completion of a task and do it in the right way and within a time frame right quest okay person who has mastered this competencies up to port level it becomes a professional all right so and so what you have to do in your studies in your career development so you start from here right and you go on the ladder like this so if you want to okay let's say you are just starting your industry so after completing your i mean uh, academic uh, degree right and you have you have been graduated and you are doing your first uh, industry engagement you are starting a job role you are given a job role and in that particular job role there there are there are certain things for you to learn right so what you can do initially you may not aware of it most probably you know that you are not aware but you may start from here but some may start from here anyway you have to go till this place so that your job performance that's what the statement says individual characteristics of a person which result an effective supervisor performance of a job right effective and so superior effective and superior performance of a job that's why you become superior of that particular job performance because you are mastering it so you can go through this steps right and there are certain i mean uh, activities to be done in the middle in the mind tools they are explaining that the previous link so you can go through that on as well uh for more details right so that is competency building right competency building uh four level i think uh here yeah, so that is done i that slide i think hope uh, that that explanation will be fine for that okay now what is up next so now up next is going to be this education system in the world okay now we are coming to education right so education systems like uh academic career undergraduate likewise so we are coming there now so because now we have put the under, i mean background is done now we know the brain how the brain architecture is done and now we know the learning styles and we know competency building now uh, it is time to uh, really get into the next level meaning uh, academic career right so academic career industrial career and a professional career right so we, we have to go in those uh, three stages so let's see how it can be done in the uh next uh step. so all right so i'm going to stop here i'll meet you soon okay have a great time bye bye